Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about very important code optimization topic, and that is test hooks. As you can see, for each of our tests, we have to manually type site.visit to load the website. And this already looks like a lot of repetitive work, which can be done better. And for that, we have test hooks. There are four common test hooks in Cypress. Before, after, and those will run only once before all the tests and after tests inside this describe block. Then we have before each and after each. They will run before and after each of these individual it blocks inside the describe. So let me show you some examples how we can use hooks inside our describe and our four tests. So hooks are commonly written above all the tests. And in our case, we are always using this visit function for this website, which is always the same. So this is a very nice use case where we can use before each hook. So how to do it? Simply type before. And as you can see, it's already been provided for us. So we use before each. And inside that, we want to call the callback function. And here we have again access to all the Cypress functions. In our case, we want to use sci.visit. And again, provide it with the example here. So let me give it a space here. And now we can comment out and later remove all these visits from each of these tests. And how does it basically work? Now, inside this describe block, we have this before each. And it tells the Cypress before each of these it blocks execute this line of code. In our case, it's visiting the example. So we no longer need to write it inside each of these tests. Now you can see how much time and code it can save us. We don't need to repetitively write this visit. We can just write it once inside the before each and Cypress will handle automatically everything for us. So now we can save it, go back to test runner and see how does it work. So let's go to our test runner. And as you can see, all our tests are still passing. Now, if we click on any of the detail, we can see that there is test body and before each. And now the Cypress test runner is telling us that it executed before each hook where it visited this website. And after that, it executed the test itself. Now, if you go to another detail, you can see the same. And this will be the same for all of our tests. So let's go back to our editor. And now we can safely remove all these SIDAT visits from our tests. Suddenly, we don't need that much code and our tests are much shorter, yet they are doing all the same like before. And now let me give you a after each example. Again, you can do it at the top of your describe block. And we will now call after each again the same pattern. Now we call the callback function, but I have nothing to do in this after each. So I will simply lock a message that this code is being executed after each of our tests. So I'm going to side that lock. And here I will write some message, for example, running after each of my tests. Now, if I'm going to save it and go back to the text editor, you can see our tests passed again. And now if I open, for example, this assert URL, you can see that we have before each, we have our test body and we have our after each. Right now, the after each is not doing any Cypress code. It's just logging the message that this is running after each of my tests. In real life, you can use after each, for example, to clean up some data after you do some tests. And if the test data needs to be removed in all of your tests, again, you can put it inside the after each block 
and not write it manually in all of your tests. So again, it will reduce and make your code more optimized. Now let's go back to our tests and I want to talk about two more topics. And that is that you can skip any of your tests or you can target only a specific test in your describe during the execution. And for that, we have few tags and those are skip and only. If we go back here, let's say I want to execute only this test. How can I tell to Cypress? You can maybe comment out all the tests, so only this one will be actually working. Yes, it will work, but it's not a very smart idea. The best way to do it is simply providing this it with that only hook or tag. It doesn't matter how you name it. Now, if I save it, the Cypress will only execute this it inside this describe block along with before each and after each. Those are executed always, even if you are running only this one it. So let's go back to our test runner. And now, as you can see, only the assert element test is running. If I run the test again, you can see that it's true. So we again run before each, then we perform our test and then Cypress called the after each hook. And all those other tests will be ignored during your test run. But let's say I want to do an opposite. I want to run all the tests except, for example, one test. Right now, I would like to run all the tests, but let's say only for assertions and I want to skip this reload and logs test. For that, I can simply do that skip. And this will automatically tell Cypress to run all the tests, but not this one. So let's go back. And now, as you can see, all these tests are passed and this one is blue. And this means it's flagged as skipped. So you see no red, it's not an error. This is blue and this means this test was not executed and it's basically skipped. And it's caused by this skip tag, which we put to this it block. So let me now remove it. Now, if I just keep it clean again, no tags, and I save it and go back to the test runner, it will automatically again execute all of those four tests. Using this tagging is uh, very good, for example, when you need to run or debug a specific test in your test suite, in your describe, and you can simply just put it that only and you can focus working and executing only on this specific test. Very common approach is, for example, when you have a bug inside your test. Let's say this test will have a bug. A lot of companies and developers, what will be doing is they put, for example, a comment that there is a bug and they give it, for example, ticket number, let's say one, two, three, four and they will do it that skip and they are pretty much telling to this test suite that hey this test is skipped because of bug based on this ticket also in this ticket there should be a notification or message about this test being skipped because of this bug and whenever any developer solve this bug uh, i have a typo here it should be like this and whenever the bug is fixed, they should have a message that, hey, you have to go back to Cypress test and unskip the tests and the test should be working. And after that, you can simply remove the command. Again, this is very common practice. I know some companies, some projects do it differently, but uh, very often you will see this approach. And for that, we have these test tags or hooks. So you don't need to comment out the test on something like this. Again, I have seen uh, some projects doing it, but again, I don't think this is the best idea. It's always better just to use skip. So I think that's all to this topic. I hope you can understand it correctly. If you again need to explain something, feel free to ask 
or if you need to get some examples again feel free to ask i can show you some of the more examples but i think with this demonstration you should have a pretty nice picture on how we can do it and how you can do it in your tests